Title, Washington's Thirst Quenched by Trucks. Drought Drama Unfolds. TLDR, Drought Alert in 12 Washington counties due to early snowmelt and puny rain. Summer even trucking in water. Is this a sneak peek into a drier future? As Washingtonians were gearing up for what they hoped to be a splashy summer, Mother Nature seemed to have other plans. Early snowmelt. Check. No spring rain dance. Check. Streams running at is it Monday morning already? Levels. Check. In a twist right out of a post-apocalyptic flick, certain wells in Whatcom County turned up emptier than my wallet after a weekend spree. One provider's solution. Haul water in by truck. No, you didn't misread that. Can you imagine looking out your window and seeing trucks deliver, not your next Amazon order, but water? And rumor has it, another provider's joining the trucker squad soon. But here's where it gets spicy, Jimmy Norris, our guy from the Department of Ecology, dished that around 350 water customers are feeling the pinch. Yikes. Laura Watson, the head honcho at the Department of Ecology, threw some major shade. This drought is proof of the chaos climate change is bringing, she claimed. Are we on the brink of seeing more such droughts in the future? Or is Washington getting a crash course in the desert lifestyle? Not just Whatcom County, folks. Benton, Clallam, and 10 others are all on this drought roller coaster. But hey, Seattle peeps, before you break into a jig, you're not off the hook. You've got a drought advisory stamped on you. Let's flash back a bit, May and June this year. They played the roles of the bad boys, ranking as the fourth warmest and 11th driest since 1895. With July and August usually leaving Washington parched, and forecasts predicting a warm, dry spree till October, should we expect more thirsty counties soon? Here's the silver lining. The emergency declaration isn't just for drama. It's unlocking a $3 million fund to help communities, tribes, and others dry dancing their way through this drought. Disclaimer, this article isn't dishing out advice. We at Turned Up News just call it as we see it. Always consult with appropriate professionals for water and environmental concerns. So, dear readers, here's the million-dollar question. With our planet heating up and droughts becoming more common, what out-of-the-box solutions should we be brainstorming? And importantly, are we ready to change our ways before every drop counts?